If you're an online business owner and you're really ready to scale up your business in the online space, then there are a couple of things you actually need to focus on. And one of those is actually having a website. Now, it's actually even more for those who actually sell products and services in the online space and they are in need of e-commerce business websites. But then, you get to meet developers who want to create a website for you and then they actually want to cut your neck with the charge of setting up an e-commerce website for yourself. In this video today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can actually build your website from A to Z, start to finish within the next 15 minutes. And this is actually one of those videos you actually want to make sure you actually stay all through to the very end because you are actually going to be learning every of the aspect of setting up your website from your hosting down to setting up a WordPress CMS and also to integrating the one single plugin that turns your website to an e-commerce store and as well how you can actually get to integrate series of payment systems and gateways on your e-com website and also how to fulfill your orders. And with all of this, you're also still going to be getting the three months free of hosting plan and also 20% of hosting credits for yourself. Now the very first step here is your hosting. And the hosting basically like I would actually share to anybody who is actually thinking of what a hosting is and why they really need a hosting is that your hosting basically is the land where you are looking at building your structure, right? So if you're really thinking of actually building, for example, a house, then you're thinking of, oh, where is this house going to, you know, be on? Definitely it's going to be on the land. And this particular land houses all of the structure that, you know, uh, this particular building is going to have. And this is exactly how it is for your website. No matter whatever you're building, there basically needs to be this structure set in place that will actually carry up the house itself. And when you're really looking out for your hosting, then there are four major things you basically need to watch out for. One is the high performance, two is the scalability, three is security, and four is support. Now, because of everything running inside of your e-com store, it is important to have this four in check. And if there's any hosting company claiming to actually provide you hosting, and you're not giving any of this four, then there is a very huge problem, and you actually want to make sure that you run away from them as fast as possible. And that is exactly why I'm actually recommending this particular hosting right now, which gives you access to a couple of all of these features, and even more, and even much more flexibility on handling and hosting your e-com website. Now, this right here is Cloud ways hosting and this as you can see on my screen saved my money with simple and reliable cloud hosting trusted by agencies developers and businesses that demand high performance from their websites as an e-com store owner or an e-com website owner definitely you already understand that your e-com website needs high performance right it is requiring high performance at every point in time and that is why i actually recommend this particular hosting company for your server provision now, coming over here, you actually want to go ahead and view their plans. And on viewing their plans right in here, you can see that they actually have three tiers from the digital ocean plans to AWS and Google Cloud. But for right now, we're going to be working on with the digital ocean. Now, on the plans here, you can see the $14 per month, the $28 per month, $54.99. But beyond the pricing, you can see all of the features that actually come along with all of the plants. Now, let's look at the first one here. You can see all of the features available on here. And this feature are actually way, 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 way higher than any other hosting company will actually provide for you. This is only why I actually recommend this, especially if you are really demanding more from whichever website that you are going to be running. Now, what I'm going to simply do is to go ahead and click on Start Free and then create my account here. Now, I'm going to be leaving a link for you guys down in the description of this particular video to fully set up your accounts and get this up and running for yourself. Now, with the link in the description here on the sign-up page, you can see that you're going to be getting started with this absolutely free. No credit card, nothing, nothing, nothing. And like I said, you're also going to be getting three months free hosting from me using my link in the description and also 20% off of the hosting credits that you're going to be getting for yourself during your stay with Cloudways, okay? So, so I'm going to go back right now and I'm going to proceed to log into my account and on logging into my account right here you can basically see that i currently have a server that is running right here on the platform so this is actually to show you that myself i'm currently using this particular cloud you know uh application for my server hosting and you can also jump on it and that is basically because this is actually one of the most preferred hosting if your website is really demanding more from you i'm coming over here you want to click on add servers and um that is for beginners especially with your new server you're going to come over here and select the application. We have different applications here from WordPress to WooCommerce to PHP, Laravel, and Magento. Now, we're actually going to build in our e-com website on WordPress. And the plugin we're going to be using here is WooCommerce. So let's go ahead directly and just click on WooCommerce here because this is what we need. And I'm going to come here to the name of the Manage app and I will just type in Selenium 
and I'll type it in again. Now I'm going to select one of my existing projects inside of here. But then for those of us who are just starting out, you can actually just also name your existing project and use that for yourself. Now I'm going to go ahead using the 4 gig plan, but then we can actually start out with the 2 gig plan, especially if you're just starting out, and then we can actually scale as we grow. And definitely, that is what scalability is all about. So I'm going to go over for the location of our server, we can leave it at New York, and you can see pay as you go plan, we're going to pay in $20 monthly, and that is fine. So I'm going to click on launch now, and once I click on launch now, it's going to proceed right now to start working on our server, and as you can see here, we actually have this. And it's going to take about seven minutes for this particular server to, you know, be well packed right on this particular space. So let's just hold on for the next seven minutes. So once your server has been fully configured, as you can see my screen right in here, you can basically go ahead and you can see a couple of options on this particular space. Application installed on this server. Now this basically is referring to the application of WordPress and WooCommerce installed already on our server. So I'm going to click here to application. And as you can see here, we actually have a couple of details on this space. So I will go ahead and open up this particular, you know, account and it's taking us to our WordPress website. This is exactly what our WordPress website currently looks like right now. But then guys, you actually be wondering and be thinking like, how exactly does our sites look like this? So what I'm going to do next is to go ahead and click on this particular application right now. And once I click on the application, it is going to bring up all of the details required of me in order to be able to access all of these spaces. Now, this exactly is the access to our WordPress panel. And I'm going to simply tell you that because we've created a server and installed WordPress, Cloudways has simply helped us to create, you know, uh, more of like a subdomain, right? Uh, so that we can actually easily access our, you know, WordPress website and actually start doing a couple of things on there. Now, this is actually the subdomain URL right now, our username and password, and also your details to your MySQL access okay you basically don't need most of this right now especially if you're not that technical you'll basically be needing just this and this alone and like i said because you're actually watching this particular point in this particular video i'm going to be giving you guys a couple of free tickets to this particular event which is the cloudways prepathon and here you're going to be getting access to a three-day event where you're going to be sitting with one of the top global leaders in the online space where they get to share with you a series of insights on how you can actually scale your own business one of the things with setting up an online business is where you're thinking of how you can actually scale. How far can you go? How do you go beyond your locale to going and growing into a global business? And this is exactly what is here for you. Now, using the link in the description, you're going to be getting access to this preparathon right now. And all you simply want to do is to proceed to register for a free account for yourself. So you can see the theme right inside of here, Dominate Online for Exceptional Returns from October 17 to 19. And you can click on register and get your free account account scrolling down you can see a couple of speakers let's click on the speakers right in here and you can see these speakers are guys that you have actually always been wanting to actually meet up with and you're going to be sitting with them in this particular event right now and learn from every one of them they're going to share with you guys their stories and insights on how they've scaled and you can pick up a couple of things from there and also scale yourself globally as well now beyond this particular url right now you also be thinking franklin i have a domain already how exactly can I actually use my own domain to be able to connect this particular, you know, and build all of this on my own domain? Now, this is exactly where we we'll go over to domain, uh, you can see here, domain management. And you can see here that this is the existing subdomain that is currently on your account. And you want to click on add domain right in here. And once you click on add domain, you can actually add the domain that you simply have. Now, in order to get access to your own domain, you can actually come over to Hostinga and purchase a domain for yourself. Now, all you simply need to do is to actually use my link, franklinmail.com slash Hostinga. And on this particular space right in here, you can actually proceed to click on domains. Now, once you click on domain, you actually want to go ahead and you search for the domain that you're looking at making purchase for. For example, I can actually see Franklin Ecom Stores. Dot com okay so this is actually a sample and a test and i actually want to go ahead and search and once i search for it and it's very well available i will actually be giving the pricing for this particular domain and i can actually proceed to purchase it on purchase you can actually create your account and that is all now once you've actually been able to purchase your domain inside of here all you simply want to do is to come back to your cloud's application and then add the domain so let's, let's take for example we have uh, this domain available in here I'll click on add domain. Now, once I add this particular domain inside of my account right now, you can see this is added as an alias. And the major thing I actually want to do is to make sure that the DNS record of my domain is actually pointing at the IPs or, you know, the server's IP address. Okay. And once I'm able to point my server IP address to this particular domain, and I'm going to proceed to switch 
this and make it the primary domain. Now, but then this might actually sound a little bit technical for a couple of us, especially if you are not so techy. And all you simply want to do is to go ahead and you can actually chat up with Cloudways hosting, you know, uh, supports, and they are going to give you more of like a guide step by step on how to go about this straightforward and sometimes even actually help give you a hand on how to make this work for yourself at uh, this particular period of time. Okay, so let's go back to our details right in here, and I'm going to open up our website. And once I open this up, you can see that this is going to be taking us to our WordPress admin. Now, what I'm going to do next is to go ahead and copy up my username, which is this. I'm going to come in here and paste it. Now I'm going to go back and also copy up my password and I'm going to come in here as well and paste. Now once I actually come in here and paste, I'm going to proceed to login and once I click on login inside of here, you are basically going to see that we already have our WordPress dashboard and this is exactly what it looks like. So I'm going to cancel all of this out right now and um, let's go ahead and view our website. Now this is exactly what our website looks like and we are going to be changing a couple of things and turning it over to an e-com website in a couple of minutes now stay back and watch this as it actually goes now coming back to our dashboard what i'm going to simply do right now is to focus on a couple of things and one of the major things i'm going to be focusing on is the appearance now the first thing and appearance we're going to be looking at changing here is the theme now the theme is actually the structure of the website, right? And this is just like the skeleton in the body. It basically helps you with the structure and you know, more of like creates, you know, the several moving parts of the website itself. Now I'm gonna go back to themes and on themes right in here, I'm gonna proceed to adding a new theme because yes, I'm gonna be recommending a new theme for you guys right now. I'm gonna be using the Astra theme. Now, using the Astra theme right here, I'm going to do a quick search and search for Astra. And I'm going to proceed to install. And once I proceed to install, I can also activate this particular theme. Now, on activating this particular theme right in here, I can actually proceed to view my website. You're going to see a couple of changes, although not so much, but you're going to see a very huge difference. Now, this is what our website looks like right now. And compare this to what we had before. This is what we had before. But now, this is it. So you can see the change that's actually made. But this is actually just the beginning because the next part here is actually going to blow your mind. We're going to be installing a plugin by Astra. Now, the plugin is actually what adds more functionality to a website. A website can actually be bare with a skeletal structure, but a plugin actually gives it a little bit more life and also adds some functionalities of what it can actually do. Now, this is exactly where we think about the organs of the body, right? And this is also how it is here on the website. Here on plugins, we can actually go over to add new plugins. And when we click on add new plugins, we want to go ahead and search for starter site. Now, once we are inside of here, you can see this particular, you know, plugin right here by Brain, Brainstorm Force. I'm going to click on install. And on clicking on install now, I can actually proceed to activate. Now, on activating this particular plugin, we are going to be getting access to where it's asking us for the page builder we actually want to use. Now, the page builder we're going to be using right in here is actually going to be Elementor. And I'm going to click on this right now. And I'm going to go straight to Ecom. And it's going to show us a couple of Ecom websites right inside of here. Now, I'm going to proceed and select a couple of free options. Because, yes, we actually want everything free. And we're going to be able to make every edit and also make changes even on a free you know, template. Now let's go ahead and click on this particular template we have right in here. Click on skip and continue. Or if you have a logo, add it up. Click on continue here. Skip and continue again. Proceed to add in your name and also your email. And I am for what? And building website. Okay. And I'll go down and say build my website. So it's going to take a couple of minutes right here to install the template on our website. And we're going to see the change afterwards. So let's just hold on and watch. Now, what this is doing right now is really installing all of the plugins, installing all of the images, all of the products, and also all of the design templates that are available inside of this particular template that we have chosen. Now, you can see already on my screen that it is already done. And what we can do is to go ahead and click on view website. Let us see what beauty our website beholds. Now, looking on here, you can basically see that this is our website right now, and it looks so stunning. Like for real, we started up from here, and we moved over to here 
and this is our website right now this is awesome guys just come on go ahead and actually drop me a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about this particular website already just by you know uh simply adding a couple of things in a couple of minutes let me know your thoughts about this website right now in the comment section below but then guys we are not done because we are still going to make a couple of changes here and there on everything around on this particular website but i'm going to show you guys a simple functionality of an e-commerce website right on side of here now clicking on this particular product right now we are going to be getting access to adding this particular product to cart this is a brief description on this particular product and i'm going to click on add to cart and i'm clicking on add to cart right inside of here we are going to be going to be going over to the next page where we can actually view our cart and on viewing our cart we can actually proceed to check out this particular product now on checkout right here we can actually put in our full details right now and place this order now there is something left for this to be fully functional and that is we adding our payment gateways and integrating those payment infrastructures now there are a couple of options we actually have here it is either we are going to use you know our uh, stripe right or paypal to receive international payments or we actually want to use flutter wave to receive local payments whichever one you actually want to use you can integrate each of these particular you know payment gateways on your website and it works perfectly fine for you now coming back to our website right inside of here as you can see all you basically need to do is to start using your page builder to make a couple of edits necessary on this particular space so for example you actually want to edit with elementor and you're coming in here and allowing elementor to actually be your page builder now, I've actually done a full tutorial on how you can actually use Elementor, and I'll be creating more in future. Let me know if you actually consider about that tutorial right inside of here. Now, let's take, for example, I actually want to make necessary changes to the look and feel of this particular space of the website, this column. I can go ahead and tap on it right now, go to styling, choose image, go ahead and upload an image of my product. Let me look out for one of those images I already have. Okay, this is one. And once I actually go ahead and upload this particular image here on my website, I can use it and switch it for the other one that is already existing. So once this is fully loaded inside of here, all I'm simply going to do right now is to click on select and you can see that this particular image is already going to be replaced here on my website. Now it's actually taking a little bit of time to load and I'm still going to proceed to re-optimize my website and make sure that every image that's actually going to be fitting on my website here is well optimized and it's as quick and as fast as possible. Now I can actually make changes to this particular you know, uh, text on here as well. And I can come over to the styling inside of here. And I'm coming over to the styling. I can make the change to the font styling and just change it over to this. And you can see there's already a change being made and that works. Now on my tutorial where I'm actually going to show you how to use Elementor, you can actually get this done from E to Z and just, you know, get over with using Elementor to build your e-com website and also your personal website as well. Now, once you're actually done with this, you can actually proceed to your WordPress dashboard. And here in your WordPress dashboard, we are gonna be looking over at the position where you are going to be you know, adding up your products. Now, we're gonna come over to the product section right inside of here, and you can see here, let's go over and see all of our products. And on here, you can see all of the products existing right inside of here on your website, okay? So let it load up so you can see all of the products, you can see the stock, you can see the price, you can see the categories based on what you actually want to categorize your product as. And that is just it. So if you actually want to add a new product, you can click on add new. You actually want to go ahead and proceed to add a product name, add a couple of description. You have another short description here. Put in a price and right here. And coming over here, you can add a product image, add a product gallery if there are more than one images for this particular product and proceed to publish. Now, using WordPress to build your website is actually as simple as ABC. And I can actually tell you this as a true fact because right inside this particular video, we've actually been able to fully work through this particular process in just a couple of minutes. And in order to get this particular website fully functional and running, it is so important that we actually get to, you know, add in a couple of other plugins that would help us to fully optimize our website website and automate every process in our e-commerce business and this is exactly what i'm going to do in my subsequent video where i'll be sharing with you guys a couple of more insights on how to fully automate the process here when you're building your e-commerce website now i actually want to hear your thoughts and also share your ideas and questions in the comments down below i would follow up with every of the question but the major thing here is the fact that you guys basically need to understand that when you're building and setting up your e-commerce website which actually takes up more you actually need a very flexible hosting that allows you high performance gives you scalability gives you security and as well support now this is actually one of the coolest things right here and you can actually get started with this right away and at the same time if you actually want a continuity video from this one where i'll be sharing with you guys how to automate your e-com website let me know tell me yes frankly i actually want that particular video in the comments below and i'll create this particular video for you as well all of the links 
I've shared right here are all in the description of this particular video. So open the description and check out all of the links right inside of here. Get started with this for yourself and you are good to go. So this is it for this particular video today, guys. I actually hope you learned a lot from this particular video. Do well to share with me your insights, your questions in the comments below. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.